What does has no nose? How does he smell? Awful. <laughs> He's rotting. <laughs> what about Vero? Varro is a very honorable man. Varro. Never killing unjustly. Only when he had been wronged. He always gave a second chance to folks, but oftentimes had to revoke it because some people just don't know when to quit. I have no idea what happened to him since I last saw him. Shame because I never got to ask him why people called him Vigorous. He thought he was living on borrowed time. Who's Golden? Now Dan was quite a character. Actually, Golden is just a nickname he had. Dan Golden? He got it because he just wanted everything in gold. Gold chains, gold guns. Gold and Dan. Hell, if you can make clothing out of gold, he would probably want it. Kind of hard to understand at times, though. It was still English he was speaking, but an odd dialect. But Master Gi? She was a psycho and an all-around bad person. Based on bounty posters, he's running with the fiends now. Which adds up. If I was stationed closer to McCarran, I might take up that bounty. Neat. You're back. Tell me about Varro. Ah, good old vigorous Varro. Where he got that name? I don't know. Neither does he. What I do know is that he's a proper gunslinger and duelist. Of all these people, he's the only one to duel you without any... What's that word? Lies? Coercion. Okay. Otherwise, he is a good and fair individual. You'll find him at his camp in the hills near the South Vegas ruins. Please actually kill this one. God, what am I paying you for? I mean, you're not paying me anything. You're just giving me guns. <laughs> Which is payment enough. Which is basically how my gun shop pays me. <laughs> I haven't taken home a paycheck in months. <laughs> I'm really happy you gave me this gun blade. Now I get to roleplay as my favorite Final Fantasy hero, Squall. Cloud I Strut. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I have to spend the next 40 hours drawing magic spells, though. A lot of prep work here. Oh, boy. Spells that I can't use because I'm going to junction them to my stats. So if I start casting magic, my stats go down. What an awful design this is! Oh my god. <laughs> Up this mountain? Around this mountain? I guess he's somewhere around here. Or his campsite is, at least. Oh, hey, there he is. Greetings, sir. Well, howdy, mister. What brings you to this camp of mine? I don't get many visitors. Aside from the fiends. How the hell did you keep your suit so clean? You vigorous Varro. Folks do call me that, yes. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is ours. I I guess I'm here to duel with you. Ah, you've heard of my escapades. And want to see if it's true? I've got some time, so I'll oblige. It's been a while since I've done a proper duel. The fans around here aren't much a challenge. Not that they'd give me the courtesy. Why don't I just... Challenge you to shooting cans. Are we dueling over something? Or just for sport? I, the duel, honestly, the duel isn't important. I just need your hat. Of course the duel's important. Without the draw of the pistols, it wouldn't be much fun now, would it? Can I use a shotgun to duel you? But, if you want this old hat so much, you can have it. Just like that. If you win, that is. Oh. Oh, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to do this without killing any of the targets. Just to make sure this is fair, you're going to take this. Oh, you're going to make me use a 44 Magnum revolver? Uh, if our ultimate goal is to kill him and take his hat, why are we agreeing to a duel? Why don't we assassinate Draw. him? Oh, oh, well, there's no... No, no 10 paces? That's not how you do a duel. All right, tag team duel. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you're just going to, you're just... I didn't know that reloads were part of this. So if reloads, <laughs> if reloads are part of this, if reloads are part of this, then that means I can do this. <laughs> Everyone okay? Yep, this is a fair fight, all right. He didn't start with shooter. Do you understand the course of fire? I didn't. I didn't understand the course of fire. So now you're gonna call me out and say that oh well that's a circumvention of game spirit. Well you never you never explained what what the what the rules were. Yeah, this is all your fault. We're taking our hat and going home. Yeah. Well, <sighs> yep, there we go. I don't want to say you look bad. The but, <sighs> the tie matches my beret. I love it. The vest doesn't really go with the outfit. Those are some pimp shoes, man. Good lord. Nice. Those alligator skin? 
I'll wear them until they get dirty. Where did you get white alligator skip whatever? From a corpse? Not, I mean, not you. <laughs> I, meant, I meant this guy. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Can't answer our questions now. Hooray, we actually killed one of our targets. Yay, we actually did something for once. Oh, yeah, he also had a gun. The Enforcer. Of course he had a gun. Well, well, now, look, I have the Enforcer. Yeah, it's a Smith & Wesson Model 19. Cool. Oh, you know what? Was it? I, this might be a reference to Dirty Harry. The, the, well, well, no, because that grip looks like a Colt. Weird. The barrel looks kind of like a Smith & Wesson. Eh, it's a Smith & Wesson Model 19. It's a Smith & Wesson with a green handle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's based on a Smith & Wesson Model 19. Uh, if they wanted it to be a reference to Dirty Harry, they could have called it the Callahan. That would have been a good name for it. Um, I don't know why they call it the Enforcer, because that was like the third or fourth Dirty Harry movie? Hmm. You're back. Darren, I am back, and here is Vero's hat. Yeah, that's... that's it. Careful, good. there's blood on it. Very good. Barrow's a hell of a duelist, and beating him should net you two levels for your license. I certainly hope you're keeping count, because <laughs> I sure as hell haven't. <laughs> I haven't either. For you, I have a surprise. A gun! Ah, oh Some boy. people call this gun plagiarized. Now go and kick you out of their homes for claiming you made it from scratch. But did I ever make such a claim? Those people are stupid. Take the damn gun. Uh, it's another, um, it's another this tiny, guy, it's guy, another tiny 44 Magnum. This guy loves his revolvers. Yep. It's a blued gun, so like, it actually looks correct. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cobalt coloration. Yeah. All right, that's cool. It's so many guns and so few hands with which to wield them. Yeah, I know. That's always the problem. It's like I want to go to the firing range, but it's, I, I, I can't bring all of the guns, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's do another mission. You're back. Tell me about Gul'dan. Gul'dan is just a nickname he acquired due to his desires for all things golden. Gold chains, gold guns, gold... Things that aren't those. He wanted them. So just gold. Dan follows the gold. Which means he's probably on the strip right now looking for riches. Now I'm giving you a little heads up. You should probably pay attention when he talks because, well... Got a gold tooth? You'll definitely see. Get going, shooter. He's gonna have grills? Could have been more specific. What if he's gonna be made of gold? What if when he talks, he exhales gold dust? Ah, uh, that's the part of the King of Midas curse, you know? Everything he touched turns to gold, so all the water particles that were in the air that entered his lungs, and, that, and he died choking on gold. Does that mean, what, is it only like, is it only his hand that turns things into gold? It must be. If you... For example, walked up and touched this fire hydrant. Will just the bolt that he touched turn into gold? Mm. Will the whole fire hydrant turn into gold? Or is it going to be if, like that episode of DuckTales where the gold starts covering the entire world? Yeah, right? Is it going to go turn the pipes that the fire hydrant connected into the gold? And then suddenly the entire city's infrastructure is now made of gold? It's just those, those are the things that I think about at 2 in the morning when I'm trying to sleep and my brain won't shut the hell up. Mm. Oh, he's back here. Hanging out around here? Why is he red? That's a very strawberry jam type of suit. Which one of you? I'm pre I presume that you would be Goldan. What do you need? Who's just Mathis? Are you just Mathis? What do you need? He's the egg. <laughs> the egg! <laughs> I mean, he definitely has many egg-like qualities. Yeah, Mathis and the egg. What do you want, kid? Are you Goldan? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to acquiesce who you are, kid. So you're gonna need to what? <laughs> it's not. I use that word. I need your hat, Dan. What? See here, kid. You're gonna have to wake up pretty early in the morning to catch me with that one. What? There are those who would forego the acquiescence and just walk straight into Minkus territory. Minkus. <laughs> not you, kid. You gave the acquiescence, and from what I've seen, that's a good start. Uh, yeah. But I'm not just gonna hand you the deep lore that is my hat without having you run your sets first. We really need that hat, even though it looks like a regular baseball cap. What do I have to do to, in order for you to give me your hat? I can't even talk properly anymore. It's like he he ran like a a, a a memetic program on my brain that's making me unable to speak properly. I would say it's pretty simple, kid. Either I send you 
or you send me. Give me some of the old Dunkin' Dunkin'. Hopefully, no little brother spam required. Nice what? and clean. You asking for sex? Without any further ado, no comment, no spoilers. Send them. Send them. Oh, oh my God! That's that's a a um, apparently, we're sending bullets. That's what we're doing. Paint. Okay, we, we, he wanted a duel. That's gonna be a hard F for me. Ah. <laughs> Shut up, you're dead. <laughs> Okay. Was there anything I could do there? What I, just happened? I, some people can't be reasoned with. Well, we got his hat, and his suit, and his gun. Mike, I think you want his suit. Yeah, I think I do. Because it's red. Yeah. Yeah, this certainly looks slick. All the girlies say he's pretty fly for a white guy. We got so many hats, we can open a hat store. You're back. The hat of Gul'dan. He did not acquiesce. So, you got through his team, not quite unity, alive, and still sane. I don't know if you understood him or not. No. But that don't really matter now, does it? I didn't understand him this at all. This is awkward. I had a gun for you, but I seem to have misplaced it, so... Uh, I have caps. That works, <laughs> I suppose. I guess. It's not as fun as a gun, though. Well, I have a gun for you. Where is it? Oh, that's right. One of my associates is pointed at the back of your head because this is the final step and I was going to betray you. Oh. The gun he gave me was this uh, Israeli military industries Uzi. <laughs> that we bought from him. Howdy. He definitely gave me this IMI Uzi. I like the Uzi. It's a neat gun. It is not the first submachine gun by a long shot. There are many, many other ones that, that came before it. But it's, it's the first submachine gun that was like... Everybody used it. Yeah, it was so popular it made it into the Worms video game. I mean, it's in a lot of stuff. I, uh, Uzi, I think, is the designer's name. There's multiple different versions of it. Is it the first telescoping bolt submachine gun? No. If not, it's one of the first. The, they make them in multiple different sizes, though. This is the standard Uzi. They also have the mini Uzi, which is a little bit shorter. And then the micro Uzi. Uh, cool thing about the Uzi is the barrel comes out real fast. Like, if you want to change barrels on it, it's super easy. Basically, there is... And they actually modeled it. This little tiny lever right there. Mm -hmm. You push that lever backwards, and then rotate this nut. That comes off. The barrel just comes right out through the front. Why did they make the barrel so easy to detach? Um, for cleaning, for disassembly, uh, for just if you need to change out barrels on it. What, is it useful? Why don't other guns do that, then? Because this is a submachine gun, it's not exactly made for super precision accuracy. Um, this is basically for, like, 200 meters in. The way you get really good accuracy out of a gun is by, one, having a really good barrel, and two, making sure that that barrel stays stationary mm -hmm. while, the, while the gun is operating. Pinpoint accuracy at long distances isn't a concern for the Uzi. Barrel comes out very easily. Gotcha. Um, this gun also has a grip safety on the back of it, which I do not like. Yeah. I don't like the grip safety on this gun specifically because it uses a very strong spring. And it, it for me personally, it gets kind of painful to hold on to it for an extended period of time. A lot of people will just put a big old beefy rubber band on that to just hold the grip safety down. <laughs> kind of defeating the purpose of having a safety at that point. Yeah. I can't imagine that grip safeties get used a whole lot. Not much anymore. This is this is one of the first submachine guns to use a magazine in the pistol grip. It was designed in the 1940s. Most submachine guns until that point had the magazine sticking out of a magazine well on the side or on the bottom. This was one of the first ones where the magazine is inside the pistol grip. And one of the reasons he did that is because he argued that taking your two hands mm -hmm. and having the two hands go together is very easy to do in the dark or in low visibility scenarios or without looking at it. I see. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting concept. There's a there's a few other submachine guns now that use uh that use the magazine in the pistol grip. Right. Um it does have a fire selector here, fire, semi. I know they made other versions of it where it's like safe, semi-automatic, fully automatic. I know they they did make other ones. This I, I put it on S for safe. No, you put it on S for shoot. The Uzi is a very important Submachine gun in development. Oh, yeah, I also forgot the full-size Uzi, which this one is. That is a bayonet lug. So you can attach a bayonet to your Uzi, huh? Yep. I bet you the bayonet lug is there to attach a bayonet so you can kill the guy who got in close distance to you because you miss all your shots because it's not a very accurate weapon. Oh, no, it's still it's still decently accurate. I know you're I know you're trying to do a joke thing, but it's still it's still accurate. 
Like, they're, they're fine. They work. I, why is my thumb wiggle when I shoot this? <laughs> you're you're thumb loading every single bullet. You're back. You know anything about Master G? Master G is a genuine all-around scumbag. Nothing is too low for him. Now he is some big tough fiend boss, which is perfect position for somebody like him. Aside from being dead. I've tracked his hideout to a building just near Westside. After this, you will officially be the best damn gunslinger I ever did see. Great. That, and you have done the world a favor by killing that monster. Unless he bribes us and just gives us the hat. Uh, I'll probably just kill this guy. And I'm gonna shoot him with this little FN 1905. I'm gonna sneak up behind him and Looks I'm gonna be like, like hey. I hear the NCRs. I'm just gonna in put this little trips. South 22 right behind his right behind his <laughs> ear and just, 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 just shoot shoot him in the head. Hi, do you like my do you like my little? Glad uh, me, son of a bitch, is on our side. What are you? I don't know what you were doing there. I was gonna make some kind of weird joke, but you started <laughs> being weird. Freak me out. No, oh, Robo Dog's already on his way. You're gonna go take him out, eh? This is kind of this is a fun gun because this is the kind of gun that you can just have an ND wherever the hell you want. Most people aren't even gonna notice. Whoops! I mean that was on purpose. We're in free side. Guns going off is just part of the ambiance. Yeah. I really should not try to shoot him with this gun. Like it's just gonna make him mad. Oh. Yo, dude. So you can't come in unless you have the password. <laughs> I don't. Um. Hmm. Um, let's see, the strength. How about I make you eat this Uzi that I just found instead? You know, you make a very convincing argument. Thank you. So I'm gonna let you in, man. Thanks very much. So this is a pretty inconspicuous building. Yeah, I like the razor wire around <laughs> every single window. It's very <laughs> inconspicuous. All right, well, you have a lovely day, Mr. Fiend Bouncer. You're probably very busy dyeing your beard purple. I, I assume that, and your eyebrows. Goodness, well, that's dedication. <laughs> You ready to die? Hello. Oh, oh no, we were given permission to come in here. No, come no, on. no, he said it was fine. He said it was fine. The guy with the purple beard said we're cool. We're cool, man. He said we're cool. Oh, my God, this gun is doing nothing. It sounded nice, but it's not as effective as you would like it to be. Oh, actually, you know what? No, it's kind of, it's working. It's doing something. It's gone through him. Hello. Why, why are you coming at us? Are you part of the gang, too? You're going to die then next. Uh, interesting that that nightie is making her invisible. And you, the woman who isn't naked, you're also going to get shot. You know, if I had a suppressor this uh, for this gun, it actually would be a, probably a decent choice for a small, silent... There you are. There you but are. you don't have a suppressor! <laughs> no, no you don't. I don't know if they make her... Oh my god! <laughs> well, I, at least I shot it out of his hand. Yeah! Oh, he picked his gun back up! How is the Uzi less like effective? Yeah. These guys are sure taking taking fiends we got here! Maybe... Like, maybe just... Don't shit. worry, the gunplay's taking care of him! Maybe this barrel is... Oh my god, maybe it's so inaccurate that the bullets are just shooting around him. Like, uh, like, like, what's her name in Metal Gear Solid 2? The, the Fortune? Yeah, like Fortune. Yeah, I bet, um, Eliza will like Double Anarchy. Double Anarchy is basically just, uh, it's just the, the gun she has, but, but short. Maybe she values accuracy. It's, it's shooting, it's shooting multiple rounds. It's a d <laughs> double fire. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's called Double Anarchy. It fires two bullets at once. It looks like a Draco pistol. I'm not a huge fan of it. We're playing pool over here. Oh, I got it out of there. Oh, can we get that in the corner pocket? Oh, my God. Come on. Yeah, you're pretty good at shooting pool. Hey! hey! <laughs> Five star BAR. Is it any different? Uh, it's a Browning automatic rifle with gold paint on it and five stars. Five stars painted on the. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Yep. It's a bar. Yep. It's a. It's a bar. Cool. Oh, they put a skull <laughs> on it. That's silly. Buddy chicken. I'm glad you stayed down here. I didn't have to see all of that. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you didn't have to bear witness to that. Thanks, buddy chicken. Oh, he got he got me the 13 ball. <laughs> Is that the one you were shooting earlier? <laughs> uh, that must be the one I was shooting earlier. Thanks, buddy chicken. Wait, how did your magnet pick that? Whatever, it's fine. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about it. Hey, thanks for letting me in there, man. Um, I guess you're the leader now. See you later. Back to Darren. And that was the last one, for realsies. For realsies. Except we know that Darren is secretly the last one. Yeah, it's uh, he's gotta be, bro. 
Oh. Oh, he's dead. Yes, he is. I Why will... is he dead? Well, this person that's walking past us may have something oh, to do with okay, it. Oh, okay, there she is. Yeah. All right, I didn't see her. <laughs> How did you not? I've been waiting for you. I felt like was the most opportune time to put this plan of mine into motion. I intended for you to assist me with killing this Sukamu, but I didn't know where you were at the time. As you can see, that didn't matter. So you killed him. Why? I, I wish you would have filled me in on the plan. I wasn't completely sure how trustworthy you were at the time. Fair and enough. And when I came to tell you, you were nowhere to be found. Well, it's because I was killing I somebody else. I assume you know what will happen if you don't assist me beyond this point. What? Okay, so what's going on? This Darren, not his real name, was deceiving you. We knew mm -hmm. that. When the gang was still together, the seven of us discovered a set of, conveniently, seven key cards. We stored some of our collected items where the keys accessed, among what was already inside. To keep the keys safe, we sewed them inside of our hats. I got rid of the hat, but kept the key. So you called it. Darren used to be part of our little group under the name of Jackson. He thought he could get into the stash without anybody noticing. Damn, I was on the money. Oraka. After that, he tricked you into doing what he couldn't do. The coward he is. Wanted mm -hmm. to kill you after. Mm hmm So now what are you gonna do? Is it not obvious? You and I take the key cards and take everything that isn't nailed down. The security robots will still be active. Only Jackson knew how they worked. Perhaps I was too hasty in his execution. However, if I didn't act then, he would have left and taken the seven keys with him. I mean, he couldn't have. I just killed Guy and got his hat and key. When we split up and put our guns down, Guy left his hat as well. I have seven keys here already. Oh. Jackson already had Guy's. Then why- Guy did... was just a distraction to get you away so he could leave. Oh, okay. Well, that's silly. And if we have all the keys, we should get going. Once we get in, we'll see what to do after. For now, we move. Okay, but first I want to go over here. You're awfully trusting to give to just give me all those keys. Unless they don't do anything. There's the geeseling that we picked up from the last guy. Oh, yeah. well no, this is the this is the gold one from the dude that loved gold. Oh. Yeah. And from this guy we got the shifty sand. <laughs> well, I don't like that. Won't be using that one. Um, that looks it, like an energy... Why is it in 45 auto? Looks like an energy weapon they rechambered in ballistics. That's silly. <laughs> so, Kyoko, you're following us? Hi. Why don't we go back to the town of beloved yet neglected companions, and I'll pay you for sex. Oh, good lord. And we'll call it a day. Genki there. I am going to go take Buddy Chicken, and we're going to get a milkshake. You do that, me and Eliza are going to have a threesome. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a milkshake with Buddy Chicken. I'm gonna shake some milk. Who's gonna have a more fulfilling day, you or me? By which I mean shake their tits. Me. I'm gonna be having a more fulfilling day because I'm gonna be spending it with Buddy Chicken. I love you, Buddy Chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this Japanese woman. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't know how else to- I don't know how else to respond to that. So let's see if I can right. avoid murdering this guy by bringing him some gold. What do you want, kid? Are you Goldan, the man who's obsessed with gold? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to acquiesce who you are, kid. I'll trade you this gold bar for it. That is pretty close to a top right. You know what, kid? For that, you can 100% don the red shirt, gold chain, and in this case, the hat as well. All that stuff. All right, boys. Let me put you in the dang front dang seat and say we are out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Let, let's go! Alright. No, you're not gonna give me your suit, though? You're just gonna give me your hat? That's cool. Alright. So we have Dan's hat. 